Welcome to Lab Notes. You know, for those times when you just need the quick start guide. In this edition, we're talking the Home Assistant Community Store, otherwise known as Hacks. If you've been playing around with Home Assistant, you may have already heard of the Home Assistant Community Store. And if it hasn't happened already, I think at some point you're going to run across a must-have integration and only be able to find it in Hacks. You can find Hacks on the web at hacks.xyz. So, what is the Home Assistant Community Store? Hacks is a custom component you can add to Home Assistant, which provides access to a collection of community-created and maintained integrations, as well as front-end customizations like themes and Lovelace cards. These integrations are not part of Home Assistant Core, and in some cases, they're using unofficial APIs, both of which carry some risk. But don't let that deter you. I use quite a few of these integrations myself, and some I would even consider critical to my Home Assistant setup. Okay, let's talk installing Hacks. Hacks has some requirements. First, make sure your Home Assistant instance is at least the version mentioned on the prereq page. You'll also need a GitHub account, which is free and is used for downloading the various files needed for each of the integrations. You should be using an installation method supported by Home Assistant, which as long as you followed an official Home Assistant install guide, you should be good. And you should know how to read the log file in case things go wrong, which is good practice anyway. Finally, you will need a stable internet connection because this component uses GitHub to manage the integration files and code. Once you're comfortable with how these fit into your Home Assistant lifestyle, then you're going to need to jump on the shell of your Home Assistant instance. For that, we're going to use SSH. Since there are different methods based on your installation choice, I'm going to assume you're using the supervised version or at least have access to the add-on store. So if you don't already have it installed, we're going to need the SSH add-on. To install this add-on, head over to the add-on store in Supervisor. Search for SSH. You're going to want the terminal in SSH1. Once you find it, click it and then click Install. Under the config, you will need to add a password or an SSH key. SSH key is preferred and more secure. If you have one, use it. But since this is just a demo box, I'm going to use a password. Once you have your credentials set up, make sure you come down to the network and type 22, the default SSH port, right here. And then click Save. Back on the Info tab, hit Start. Jump into the log and make sure everything started. Okay, this looks good. Now we can install the Hacks component. SSH into your box. On Windows, you can use PuTTY. On my Mac, I just use my terminal. Here, we're going to type SSH space root, which is the name of the user we're going to log in as, then the at or ampersand, and then the host name or IP address. Then hit enter. If it asks you to add an entry to the known host file, type out yes. Don't just type Y, like I do every time. Then you'll type in your password and hit enter. Okay, now that we're logged in, we can install Hacks. Flip over to hacks.xyz in your browser and make sure you're on the installation page. You can grab the command for installing Hacks there. Just copy it and then paste it into your terminal or putty and hit enter. This will download the install script to your Home Assistant instance and then run it. When that is done, we need to restart Home Assistant. And when that comes back up, the next step is to finish up the install in the Integrations panel in Home Assistant. In the Integrations panel, click Add and then search for Hacks. And once found, click it. Once this is installed, you'll be presented with an acknowledgement screen. Read and check all of these that you agree with and then click Submit. Next, you'll need to grant GitHub access using your credentials. This is why the GitHub account is needed. You're going to copy this code and then click the link. You're going to sign into GitHub, and then you'll have to enter the code from the Home Assistant screen. Click the green button to authorize hacks to use your GitHub credentials to sync the repos. Then we can jump back into Home Assistant. Now you should have a hacks entry in your left menu. It will take a bit to sync all of the repos with your instance, but once it does, you can go to town installing them. To install an integration, click Integrations. Next, 
we want to add the repository from GitHub. To do that, drop down to this Explore and Add Repositories button. What this does is present you with a list of Hacks repos that contain integrations. By default, Hacks contains a lot of repos, but you can add repos if you find one that is not in the default list. Each one of the items here is a GitHub repo, and by installing these, you are essentially downloading a custom component to your custom component directory in your Home Assistant config. So let's add one. If you have Echoes, the Madam A media player is a must have. To start the install, just type the name to filter the list. When you find the one you want, click on it. Here, you can read the docs or click install to add the custom component to your config. All this step does, again, is download the integration scripts to your config. Because of that, many of these will require a restart of Home Assistant once they're downloaded so that Home Assistant can load the files. So let's restart. Okay, once we're back in Home Assistant, we can actually add the Media Player integration to our Home Assistant. Some integrations will require you to edit your YAML directly, but this Media Player one is set up via the built-in integration flow. So we just need to head over to Configuration and then Integrations. Here we can search for the Media Player. Just like a normal integration, we click it. Once it installs, we'll have to enter some credentials. Here you'll want to enter your login credentials to Amazon. Make sure the Amazon region is correct and your Home Assistant URL is correct as well. Then you can click Submit. You'll then be prompted to open an Amazon web page. Just log in to this web page. Once you log in, you can jump back into Home Assistant and you'll see that Home Assistant sees all of your echoes. This integration allows you to use your echoes for text-to-speech and to control your echoes from Home Assistant, which comes in handy. And that's it. You can now install hacks and you know how to install an integration. That's all the time we have for this video. If you're looking for some ideas on how to build a smart home using Home Assistant, check out some of my other videos. And until next time, go automate the boring stuff.